of Newgarden. Finally, we see Green here at Pocono. Look at Rossi on the inside. Does he get a run? Connor Daly pops out of the back. So too that yellow and red DHL car of Ryan Hunter Ray. Alexander Rossi to the lead. Filed in right with his teammate there, RHR. Splits the Penske's and look at Wickens on the outside making a move. Here comes the red machine, the Lucas Oil entry of Canada's Robert Wickens. Oh, that's going to be tight through there. Oh, hey, touch. oh my God. Oh, that's Robert Wickens. And his teammate is into him as well, James Hinchcliffe. That was ugly. That was frightening. Big, big impact. That was a very scary accident. There is Pietro Fittipaldi. James Hinchcliffe was involved. Robert Wickens. Ryan hunter -Ray. There is James Hinchcliffe. James breathing heavy. RHR is fine. He's moving around. We'll get out, looks like. But the question mark. Your left rear. And the AMR safety team are right there with Robert Wickens on the right-hand side of your screen. More assistance coming for James Hinchcliffe. Ryan Hunter Ray radio to say what happened. And there was connection between Wickens and the left rear of Hunter Ray that sent Ryan around, and then Wickens obviously went up into the fence. Well, and turn two is really a flat out kink, and at the start of the race, cold tires. I'm sure Hunter Ray didn't want to be any higher than he had to be with a car down low going through that kink. We're going to have a red flag here for sure. The fence is massively damaged in the back back here. There's a big gaping hole in the fence back there. So we're going to be down for quite a while to repair that. And those are both Schmidt-Peterson teammates that the safety crew is working on and assisting. Don't really have a good camera angle on the six of Robert Wickens as we see, Paul, as you pointed out massive damage to the fence you never like to see an indy car get up over that safer barrier into the cheese grater of the you know the chain link there is james hinchcliffe gingerly climbing from his schmidt peterson honda Definitely looks like he's hurt himself, his wrists, wrists or something. Both wrists, maybe, because he's holding them at a kind of a strange angle there. Pietro Fittipaldi, there's a guy that didn't need any impact with the wall. Coming back from injury after a nasty accident and broken legs at Spa in the WEC race. Came back aggressively at Mid-Ohio, maybe a little too soon, and, and uh, now I'm sure... Uh, still in a little bit of pain from previous injuries he's trying to heal from. This has been an unforgiving start to a 500-mile race. It certainly has. And just a, a, a strange weekend all round. And now finally and officially the red flag is shown. With the uh, washout of practice last night, very limited track time. The strange initial start with the contact between Ray Hall and Piggott and now this a very confronting accident between Robert Wickens and Ryan Hunter Ray and so many others involved and the one thing you have to remember folks is that while all of these all 22 of these drivers out here and the, of course, the IndyCar field expands to 33 at the Indianapolis 500. It seems like such a large group, but it really is a, a very small family. And they know that they're all, they're all mates. They're all friends in some shape or form. And so when the other drivers 
uh, drive past something like this, they're all very concerned. So let's have a look here at, on the inside here, there's Hunter Ray breaking sidewards and look at that, Wickens just climbs over the 28 and up into the fence. It was a, it was a vicious impact. That is the fastest part of the racetrack. You know, you're wide open, two cars contact and the angle at which they darted off into the wall and the fence was was severe. So certainly we're uh, thinking and hoping for uh, a good Robert thing. Wickens right now. The good thing watching that in the slow-mo is the tub did not break apart. Look at the tire. Look at the IndyCar tire, tire, tire and suspension the that they're, they're gathering outside the facility at this point. You can see part of the side pod caught in the fence.